Let us listen to another uh, speaker who is also a friend, as I said earlier, and it is uh, Father Frank Gelly uh, who is going to speak about the essence of martyrdom and what it means uh, to us all. Assalamu alaikum. Um, the blood of martyrs is the seed of a church. These are words of an ancient Christian writer, a man called Tertullian. He was addressing both the pagan persecutors of the church and the Christian people. What is a seed? It is a flourishing plant, or a flourishing plant is a unit of reproduction. You take a seed, you bury it to the ground, it seems it's gone, but actually it's alive. And it will flourish, it looks dead initially, but it's not so, it's fertile. It is the germ of a new life. So that is the point of saying the blood of the martyrs, because martyrs by definition have to shed their blood a lot of the time, is the agent, the symbol of this new flourishing. Persecutions, jailings, tortures, uh, killings, and the innocent people of Bahrain have had their share of it. Um, actually, paradoxically, uh, may result, and we pray we may be so, inshallah, in uh, a new flourishing. The tyranny will be overthrown in, in God's own time, and there will be a new life for the innocent people of Bahrain. I want to make three uh, brief main points about martyrdom. Uh, martyrdom as a battle, martyrdom as defiance, and martyrdom as, well, this is a question, what is to be done? What can well, we, what can we do about it? First, notice uh, the word martyr has the same meaning both in Arabic and in English. Because in Arabic it is shahid, a Quranic word, and it means someone who lays down his or her life for the sake of Allah. Uh, the English word martyr comes from a Greek word, martyreo, which means exactly the same. It's a witness, someone who pays witness. A martyr who lays down his or her life for the sake of Christ. And I want to stress the word fight, as uh, a struggle of believers against tyranny, as you all know about the case of Little Bahrain, which is... Rising up, but people are rising up against a tyrant, a ruler who is not a ruler for the benefit of the people of Bahrain. And that is the definition of a tyrant. A tyrant is concerned about his own uh, benefits, self aggrandizement. He is not concerned for the sake, for the good of the people he should be governing. But, um, um, and the, some of the, the his man Tertullian, who wrote this pamphlet against to encourage believers in order to expose the pagans, said, the more you cut us down, the more we grow. The martyr is called to fight. His life is a battle. It is a struggle against uh, evil. Don't get me wrong, the early Christians did not take any particular pleasure in being persecuted. It was not masochistic. But as soldiers of God, they had to fight against idolatry. Again, this is in common with Islam, the fight against idols. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he fought against idols, and eventually when he took Mecca, the idols were thrown out of Kaaba, and a new uh, era began. Well, uh, the tools of pagan emperors also were atrocious, but the Christians were defiant. Crucify us, torture us, execute us as much as you like. Your injustice is the proof of our, of our innocence. The same apply, I think, to the people of Bahrain. And here, briefly, I want to honor uh, against, again, uh, the Bahraini martyrs. Some have been suffered in this room because, um, you know, I have not had that, that hard privilege to bear. So I want to honor those who really have suffered to resist to evil. Second, I want to uh, go to the word defiance. And again, notice the splendid defiance of the uh, Christian writer who's telling them, do your worst. Come on. It is like he was snapping his fingers of the pagans. Come on, whatever, do whatever you like. We are going to 
uh, triumph in the end. The more you cut us down, the more we grow. Because the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. One of the most savage persecutors of the early church was the Emperor Galerius, who was a deputy of Emperor Diocletian. He was so bestial, so savage, that if I were to read out some of the tortures which he inflicted on the Christian martyrs, it would, be, it would make your flesh creep. It would be like watching a horror movie. Well, God is not mocked. That's a biblical phrase. Galerius was struck down with a horrible, gruesome disease and died a stinking death. Some Christian writers may, may be sort of relish that too much. We're not supposed to do that. But anyway, the point is the blood of the martyrs had not shed in vain. And thirdly, uh, i keep giving this short, as our colleague uh, uh, Mr. Nineham did. And he said to him, there was a famous uh, Oxford theologian, Dennis Nineham. Is he a relation? He is a relation. He was a relation. Right, yeah, yeah. right. I got his book or some like that. Sorry, this is digression. Um, so, what can we do? Not all of us are called to be martyrs. And for some of us, it will be a calling too hard to bear. Uh, there is much we can do, however. There is a hadith, the ink of a scholar, is or more worse than the blood of the martyrs. Is it uh, Hadith Sahih or Daif? We've got some expertise in this room, I'm sure. <laughs> well, we can talk about it later. But anyway, let me say, my, my opinion is that we can find tyranny, oppression also in intellectual ways, or simply by writing, by agitating, by using the pen, and campaigning for justice, and divine mandates by intellectual work. This is something we must all do. We must be strong, because one needs to be strong to fight evil. And again, you know, we had a reference of how dark the moment is when we had a charlatan, an imposter, and uh, a deceiver become a prime minister of his country. But leave it one side. And finally, um, this is perhaps an opportunity to explore, to meditate, on our own individual vocation or participation in the battle. Particularly maybe those of us who are in a slightly more advanced stage in life. How does God call us individually to share in the battle, but also to grow more real, to acquire more genuine reality, to risk maybe a bit more, perhaps to think of a project to shape our lives in ways which are consonant to a more meaningful kind of life or resistance to evil. So I end again with the original quotation, the blood of the martyrs is the seed of a church. Thank you very much. <laughs>